a lot of Stan's work comes from deductive reasoning. That's like taking the the world today and um, reasoning out of the situations that we find ourselves in and working back and trying to find the root or origin of this of our behaviors or our quirks or whatever it is about us so one of the ones that one of the interesting subjects that he touched on was um, our domestic animals so humans have have chosen two animals to domesticate one is the cat and one is the dog and we all know that they if not if it's not a real antagonistic relationship that they do have an antagonistic relationship in our heads so we say we have phrases like going at it like cats and dogs you know so the the two or we have cartoons where there's a dog chasing a cat um but also they represent the two sides of us they represent the 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 masculine and the feminine or the neanderthal and the cro-magnon um dogs are man's best friend whereas cats are called pussies or their characteristics are feminine but something that i find interesting is that people who own you you don't get many cat men you get lots of cat ladies and you don't get many dog ladies but you get dog men so you find a lot of homeless men have a pack of dogs and a lot of uh aimless women have a pack of cats my own personal speculation on this is that dogs contrary to to what most people think dogs actually represent the feminine to those men so the the homeless men are men who um don't have a feminine around so they have dogs dogs are dogs are loyal they're unquestioningly loyal um they'll be loyal to you even if you're beating them um and that is something that you know men <laughs> often can't find in women is that they they can't they they the men who aren't very good with women men who don't have very men who aren't in touch with their feminine um that that they don't have a good relationship with me women one of the th the things that they often talk about is how women aren't very loyal well dogs are very loyal um even if you mistreat them which is you know again men often mistreat women and wonder why they're not loyal um and on the cat side we have cats being very independent and only after you for one thing so if you're a cat lady you think that the cats are in love with you but actually cats are little psychopathic killers that that only need you when they want affection and so these women that tend to have a lot of cats uh also tend to be women who are who are out of touch with their masculine and they have a very sort of messed up image of men and so they choose an animal to live with that is not very loyal to them they will literally cats will literally go and eat at someone else's house if you if you uh, piss them off they'll just leave you they don't care about you really you, you think they care about you because they come to you for affection um, but actually they'll just piss off when they want to um, when they don't get enough affection or when they get annoyed of you or when they tire of you dressing them up or whatever it is that these women do to them and in a way that's how these women think of men as well the, the types of women that tend to have a lot of cats they think of men in that in that same way as somebody who is 
you think loves you but is only there because you give him affection or you feed him um, but he'll just as soon piss off and go to a, another person's house um, and so you've got these two sort of types of people that have got their own internal issues their own conflict internally and they pick an animal that represents the aspect of themselves that they're not very capable with so they they pass that on to someone else they pass it on to another creature so they inherit another creature or they 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 adopt another creature to take on the aspect of themselves that they're lacking mm -hmm.